everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm here today with a colour along from Johanna Bassford Small Victories and today if you've already seen the thumbnail of the video you'll know that I'm doing this one. So I think this is a super cute page. I've seen lots of these coloured already on Instagram and I thought I would go for sort of browns and purples today and obviously some greens because there's lots of leaves on top of this little turtle or toy toys, whatever we want to call him. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd go for that. This is going to be totally real time. I'm here for a chat for about an hour to do this one. So there's no um, voiceovers or music on this one today. So you should be able to follow along a little bit easier. So I'm going to get my camera pulled down on this one. Not too far though. I remember what happened last time when my big hand was in the way. Um, so I'm going to do this one today. And then I'm not sure when the next videos or colour alongs will be. Um, because the kids are off 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 work, off school. <laughs> I'm wishing the life away here. Uh, they're off school for a week for half term, so I probably won't get to film whilst they're off. Um, I might, but it won't be like a full colour along. Um, so, where should we start? Should we start with his little underbody thing here, his little neck and feet, maybe? I think I'll just start with the shell, because I know what colours I'm doing the shell. Yeah, I'm going to start with the shell. I know what colours I'm doing the shell. So let's go for that. <laughs> so I've pulled out some colours that I think I want to use at the moment. Let me switch my lamp light. Check it's on the brightest um, setting. I think that's a bit better there. So I'm using Caput Morton Violet first, 263. And I thought I would go around these little square sections. I'm going to start off by going right round the outside of it with this Caput Morton Violet. And then I'm going to put a little bit more Caput Morton. And then as we get to the centre, it's going to be purples in the centre. So that's my thoughts. So we'll use this pencil first. And I think we've just got some of the shell. I'm trying to work out what's shell and what's... Um, kind of not underneath here this is a bit of a tricky one for me i'm not good at working out things like this see that little section there i'm just going to go as if this is part of that square shell up there because to be honest even if it's not and it's something else you're not gonna when we've colored the illustration you're not gonna notice i think that's the middle see that middle of the square i think that bit there's the middle then this bit's that bit so we would go here next with this color and I think I'm right in thinking that, but if I'm not, I'm not as tough, isn't it? So I'm just going to go there with that. And I'm going to do this. There's a little bit peeping out here, isn't there? That's part of that. So get that in there. That's going to be that part, I think. <laughs> she thinks. Yeah. So now let's move on to this one. I'll be all right once we've got past the fiddly parts fiddly parts so I'm sort of getting all the darkness in first with this cap up mountain violet right around the edges and then just sort of softening those edges so bringing it up into a softer blend there and I've realised I don't want to zoom in too far but we're really far right you're not going to um, see very well here are you let me just check i don't want it to go blurry you see on my hand because that'll be a horrible video if it does that again so i'm just being mindful of where i'm placing my hand but yeah we're gonna do this all around the outside of these sections the here again I think that's part I think that bit there is is like this part of the shell so I'm gonna leave it out I think I'll just go in here on this one just bring the colour around a little bit yeah let's start on the second row now
I just saw like purpley browns on this page when I visioned it in my head. I thought it would look quite nice and really earthy greens. Really earthy greens. I've actually pulled out my earth green. I've got actually a colour in the polychromos set called earth green. Pulled out may green. I've pulled out all the sort of oxide green colours. They're really nice as well. Yeah, so it's the kids' last day at school today. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for a week. If I'm off for a week, it's the weather's rubbish as well. You can't even go to the park when it's like this because it's just chucking it down. Everything's wet at the park. Like the slides, the swings. Really not good. Not good weather. My daughter said to me this morning, because I was trying to explain that it was the last day at school today, then it's half term. And she went, what? Is it summer? She thought I meant the summer holidays. I was like, no, babe. <laughs> it doesn't look like summer out there, don't you think? <sighs> Let's get into these spots around these leaves now as well. Deepening up, up there. I'm actually thinking a bit of red might be nice going into some of these leaves. Like do them green, but with like maybe a little bit of red on the tips of the leaves or something like that might be nice. Just to add a splash of something else. I'll decide as we go along. That's normally what I do. See what things look like as you're doing them. Then decide. I don't know how many pages I've coloured in this book so far. I'm sure I'll do all my favourite pages and then I'll get to that point again where, you know, when you've picked out all your favourite pages and it gets to the ones that are intimidating to you the ones that you've left to last i'm just putting a really light layer around those edges of that one there i think so it blends nicer and then we've got this bottom section I love how he's got little flowers on his head, or her, him or her, little floral headdress, so cute. So if you've not already seen as well, I did put up a little um, painting tutorial up on the channel and it was a sort of background on a portrait page that I did and it was sort of a, sort of a what was it? A rainy window. I painted a rainy window in the background of one of my colouring pages. I really liked how it turned out actually. So if you've not already, go and, go and check that out. Did it in real time as well so that I explained what I did so that you could try it out because it's easier than it looks to do it it's quite a simple way of doing it it's not too complicated i think anyone can do it notifications for TikTok. I need to stop on TikTok. Do you find when you scroll on TikTok at night you end up randomly buying something off TikTok shop and then you think what have I bought that for? It's it's bad. <laughs> it's bad that TikTok. I don't want it. <laughs> My daughter keeps asking for TikTok, I'm like, nope. 
She's only 10. Well, she goes to high school in September. She'll be 11 at the end of March. I'm like, nope. Not having it. There's too many weirdos about. Life was so much easier when we was younger. And I say that as if I'm ancient. I'm like 37, but, well, 36. I'm not quite 37 yet. 36 but it was we used to have the brick mobile phones that literally didn't have anything other than th that game on it snake it used to be a game called snake on the nokia 3210 or whatever it was and yeah we just used to play out in the street playing ball games across the across the road and yeah we didn't even get into any trouble apart from maybe playing a little game of knock and run which will probably annoy some neighbors but it was pretty harmless. <laughs> you know what I mean. Pretty harmless. I'm doing these bottom bits now. So I'm just kind of going around the top and bottom of these sort of squares here. With this same colour. So I'm trying to make this one sort of easy mindless colouring. I'm not, it's not going to be too complicated. That's why we're not being too particular around these square sections. Just sort of banging the colour down. Turn around a little bit. There we go. I'm not going to use the regular cap up model too much, though. I'm going to just go in with some purples now, I think. So, the first purple I'm going to start with is. Purple Violet 136. They're hard to read these ones with silver foiling sometimes. So they look like joined together, it's hard to see. But I'm now going to. So we'll. Yeah, I can't get my way. I can't explain today. I need a coffee. Where's my coffee? It's not even coffee, it's a cup of tea. But <laughs> we're going to start where we left off with that cap up Martin Violet. I'm going to. Just get this colour into the outer section. So we're not going into the middle square, we're just going into this one. So we're pulling it from there. I'm getting notification after notification on the school dojo app. I think they're posting pictures of the kids on there or something. <laughs> this keeps popping up. It's nothing important because they, um, if it's something important, they ring you. They don't message on Dojo, it's just pictures of what they're up to. Like that, so we've gone around it and we've just left, left the centre bit. And we're going to do that around here as well. Now you have to kind of guess where it is on this one, so we'll just bring this colour in a little bit. And take a guess at it being around there. I don't know, what you think? I think these colours go really nice together. Really lovely together, these colours. Right, if you want to bring a little bit of this colour into there a little bit, you can do, but lightly. Like, like really light pressure in there. Like my watch is buzzing now, what's it saying? Reminder to move 12 steps, oh dear me, well, should I get up and do some stair jumps? <laughs> it's constantly buzzing at me when I'm sat down filming. It's like, move, you need to move. Making you feel bad. So rude, them Fitbits, aren't they? So rude. 
I'm going to get into these teeny tiny areas now. Over here. I won't get my hand in the way she's in. Let's turn you around. I just don't want that to focus on the camera to start jil jilting again. Whatever the right word is for whatever it was doing the other day. Making everyone's eyes so. So I think people are still really enjoying me doing colour alongs from this book. It's been the most popular book I've coloured in to date, I think. It really is. I don't um I can't remember any other new release book being so popular. I've actually got one on order, a colouring beat that is, off Amazon that's sort of, it's out of my comfort zone. It's out of my comfort zone and when it turns up and I do a flip through you'll probably think, oh, I wouldn't think Kirsty would enjoy colouring in something like that. Well, you'll just have to see what it is. I was curious, I think the artist who's done the colouring book, um, has quite an online presence on Instagram and she does lots of reels of her creating these art prints and drawings and she just makes it look so much fun and that's why I got the colouring beat because I thought that would just be so much fun. She's predominantly sort of um, alcohol marker work that she does with her drawings so I thought it would be fun to challenge myself and try and colour the way she does in this boot with alcohol markers so we shall see we shall see <laughs> could be one of them things where I just look at it and think no nope, not attempting it but I really like the look of it so we'll see watch this space it's not released just yet I think it's the end of February it comes out so that shall be sent to me the end of Feb at some point. I need to go in darker around these ones. I don't know why I've held off on the colour around there. Need to go in a bit darker. A bit darker on this one. Just fiddle around with it and have a look and see what looks good. probably gone into the centre of that one a bit too much but you can always erase it so if I find my electric eraser da, 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 I can just go in and just take that colour out again that's better I'm just gonna go into this one that we've missed we go and then I'm going to add a little bit so I'm going to pull that colour even more into the centre with this purple we're of course going to do white gel pen detailing in at the end as well on this shell of course it's me <laughs> so of course that's going to happen right now i'm going to go in with sort of a it's more of a pinky purple this light red violet 135 does that say oh that's one of my head hers we don't want that get away why are hers so disgusting like it's just a hair off my head and i've actually washed my hair today but they're just gross me out where's my needable eraser because i've put something on the page there Yeah, so light red violet 135 and we're going to go into the centre with this one. So it's pinky purple in the middle. 
but we're going to brighten all this up with our white gel pen detail and at the end we're going to have lots of dotting details around the squares so we're going to add, sort of highlight the squares with the white gel pen in a dotting detailing way watch this space it will look beautiful trust me So this is quite simple to colour, This we're just doing a block colour now over everything. So really getting that colour into the paper. Can go one way then the other way to really get it into the tooth. So the paper there. Between the leaves not forgetting these ones up here hiding behind the leaves I hope my big hands not in the way I'm going to do the same all along the bottom of the shell. So we're going to really get this colour into the centre. There we go. Now I'm going to add some green to the turtle's body now. We're going to do our, all our little highlights with the white gel pen after because I don't want to smudge anything. So we're going to go in on our little turtle's neck and body and I picked out this May green to start with. May green 170 and I'm going to go over the whole of his little neck. So of his head. We're going to stop at those flowers. We don't want to go over the flowers, but we're just doing his head and his neck and then, of course, his feet and his tail. He's got a little tail sticking out at the end. So we're going to do those first. Put those in. And the tail. And then we're going to pop some shading in. So the colour I've picked out to use first is Olive Green Yellowish 173, a very earthy colour. So I'm going to start off on the head with this colour. I'm just going to start off around the outsides of the head. I'm just going to sharpen this pencil, it's got a really strange edge to it. My sharpener is rather loud, so if you want to unplug your phone. It snatched my pencil before I could finish explaining to you them. To apologise. So I'm going to go in underneath. It's still got a strange like edge to it, this. Let me get rid of that bit that I've just gone over on. It's still got a strange edge to it. So I'm going underneath where these florals are. I'll turn you around. It's just easier for me to get an angle on it this way. So I'm going to go under there because that's a shadowed area. I'm going to go under here a little bit. And then we're going to soften the edges. So we're going to use small circular motions, light pressure, and we're going to Softly pull the edges in to the centre, all around. Let's just 
get into that corner a bit more. I'm going to bring this colour around the front of the nose I'm going to stop there for now I'm going to blend this out but I'm just going to move on to his bottom foot here so I'm going to do the same where all these dotting details are I'm going to make it dark there because that's where the shadow would be and I'm going to lift off there and then the same on this one dark colours there and then on the little tail as well so we're going to have dark down here a little bit there and there we go and now we're going to blend it so I think to blend I'll go back in with the may green the colour we put down first so we'll go in with this may green 170 and I'm just going to start at the edges and see what that looks like going down with the hair depression eh? so that's quite nice but I do want to keep it paler in some areas so I'm probably going to keep it I'm just going to put a little highlight on the nose somewhere I think I think we'll keep it a little bit lighter somewhere around the nose there just a little section so I'm just going to leave that section out and I can go in with a white or a blending pencil there and then same on the foot I'm going to bring this colour out, but I'm not going to leave a highlight on that foot. We're just going to put a black colour in there. And again on this one. And on the tail, I might leave a little highlight on the tail. I should believe it. I'll get the white on there. Let me get my white. I'm going to give it a wee sharpen. I think that was too small. Go into that sharpener and spot it straight back out again. It was like, no, don't like it. Too small, so I'll just clean it off on a um, piece of paper. It's got pink on it from something else I blended the other day. There we go. So I'm just going to use my white pencil, 101, or any white pencil you have, or blender pencil. I'm just going to pop that in there and a little bit on the edge of the tail. There we go. So next up we're going to do these little, these other feet, what we've kind of left out. So same again, I'm going to use same sort of colours, but I'm going to use one that's even darker as well. So I'm going to go in with an even darker colour if I can find it. So we'll start off first with the olive green yellowish 173. So I'm not going to do the individual little scales. I'm just going to do it around the edges. So I'm going to first pull up some colour around here. So how we did the face and the other feet, we're going to do the same with this. I'm just going to use a slightly darker colour on here as well, just to really get some depth into it. So right under there. I'm going to do the same on the feet. Right underneath the shell and the bottom bit. And the same on the other foot, turn your end. along the bottom. 
bottom. In fact, I might leave that as the darkest colour. I think if I go any darker, it's just going to be tearing at the paper because it's quite dark to start with. Yeah, I think leave it at that. Let's just deepen up the side a little bit. I'm not going to go in with a darker colour, I'm just going to leave it at that. Just deepen up under here with this colour that we've already got. There we go, and then I'm going to go back in with the May Green, May Green 170. Put this into the middle and we've got that nice little pop of light green there in the centre of his neck. And that'll be the same on the feet. Got that nice little pop of colour. cute into <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this around that white area there just there there we go so we're gonna do the leaves now so I am still gonna use this may green as a base so I'm sort of gonna base some of these leaves with a may green so let's go in on this one so light layer over these leaves I'm going to base them all in this colour and then use oh I've missed a bit of the shell see that shell right so we need to go back in with the light red violet and just get that middle bit of the shell in I knew I'd missed some of that there we go anyway back to our may green coating all these leaves with a light layer of may green Teeny tiny up there, make sure your pencil's very sharp. Make sure you've got a sharp pencil. Let's turn you around. And we're going to do these big ones. So all these very rough and ready to start with. Oh, I just had to stop filming then. My daughter's school rung me. You know what? I can't get away from schools. Oh, my daughter ringing me from school lately. I don't know what has got into her. <laughs> I don't know what has got into her. And what was we saying about phones earlier? Yeah, I never got to ring my mum every two seconds from my phone from school as well. That's another thing. I don't know. Anyway, we're just still we're still basing all the leaves with the May green. So even the teeny tiny ones, um, not those. I'm going to do those as flowers. They look like flowers, but these little leaves here that are teeny tiny, we're going to do that. These ones. There we go. Is that all the leaves? Got that's a bit of a leafy bit, isn't it? At the bottom of that flower, and the maybe that little bit there, and then yeah, these bits, these bits look like the bit of green bits there, and then we've just got the bits to base on his head. So there's little teeny tiny leaves here. I'm not sure if the bit. I'm not, I'm going to do this as a sort of floral thing because I don't want green on green, sort of, because they don't look like leaves, it looks like some kind of little headdress, doesn't it? So I'm going to leave that for now, I'm going to leave that for now. 
Right, we're going to get in with some lovely greens now. So I'm going to start off doing one with the Chrome Oxide Green 278. And I'm going to do these ones, I think. These ones, yeah. So I'm going to start off with this edge of the leaf. And we're just going to do the top and bottom bits dark. Leaving it sort of going into a light a bit there in the middle. And then I think we'll start dark in the middle. And then as we get to the edge, or maybe the middle, maybe a little bit of the edge. Like that. I don't know what I'm thinking, but anyway. Yeah. Oh, this isn't going well today, guys. I just had to stop the video again. Because I got another phone call and I thought, is this my daughter again from school? And it wasn't. It was someone saying, hello, is this Alicia? And I was like, no. She's like, hello, hello, Alicia. I'm like, this isn't Alicia. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But a while ago, I think it was about two months ago now, it must have been. I kept getting all these calls. And people kept messaging me and ringing me saying, who is this? You've just tried ringing me, who is this? And I'd literally not tried ringing anyone. I said, listen, I've not made no calls from my phone. I said, I can go into the history, recent history. I said, there's no calls been made from my phone. Anyway, it was annoying me so much. I had a quick Google as to what could possibly be going on. And um, apparently, like, scammers can dupe your phone number. So I think that's what might have happened. But I don't know, I've not got I've not got a clue, it's just irritating. This is that Alicia or this is Alicia, I couldn't tell what she was saying to be honest. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't like answering the phone at the best of times. I'm not a phone person. And then I keep getting all these people ring me. But yeah, my daughter, she's 15. She's in high school. And um, she's just rung me up asking me, will I go and drop her English folder off at school because she's forgot it this morning and she needs it for a lesson. And I said, I can't just drop everything to run all the way up to school because I've got to get back to pick my other daughter up from a different school. I said, I can't just drop everything to go and take you a folder that you forgot to take to school. I said, you need to take responsibility for your own things. If you forget something, then that's on you and you have to reap the consequences of whatever your teacher, you know, whether they'll be annoyed, whether they'll give her a detention, I don't know, for not taking her a work in. But that's on her. I can't, as a parent, I can't keep running around rescuing her. She needs to take some responsibility. And I know some people don't agree with that and they find it harsh or whatever. But... The best I find the best people in life are the ones who's been made to be independent a little bit. You know, it's nice getting help sometimes in the right way, but if I'm forever picking up after her and taking her books that she's forgotten them on and she's just not gonna learn. She's never gonna learn. So I am not running around now driving up to that school. It's like I well, it's half an hour on a good day. Sometimes if there's traffic or roadworks, it can get to 45 minutes if you get stuck in it. And then I've got to get back down this way to pick my other daughter up from school. So it's just a, it's a, it's just a no-go, to be honest, to start with. <sighs> but honestly, teenagers, man. <laughs> right, I'm going to do these ones the same, but I'm going to leave them um, lighter on the tip. So we're going to do the dark bit sort of around here. And pull that colour down. Pull that colour through. I was keeping a track on how long this video was, but now I've had to stop and start it three times. I don't know how long I was recording before I started recording this bit of the video. <laughs> so if we if we overrun now and it doesn't let me upload the thing, I don't know. So I'm pulling that colour right down there and leaving it on the tip and then the same with these ones here we're going to leave them lighter on the tip so starting dark down here you can sort of go in with a hard to medium pressure we want it really 
right direct down there and then as you get to the middle section ease off into a lighter pressure and then even lighter as you get the t to the tips you barely touching the paper when you get up there Yeah. And the same on these last two. And there we go. And I think the other ones, well, I think we'll do a bit of the dark, a bit of this darkness at the bottom of these ones on the head. So pop a bit of that colour. It's, these are teeny tiny. I mean, this is so difficult to try and get in there, but just try your best. <laughs> fine liners are friends in moments like this, I think. I just don't have any fine liners, apart from black ones. I don't want the coloured fine liners, shall we say. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to switch to a different colour now. So I'm going to switch to oh, the other leaves. I'm going to leave those ones for now. We'll blend them at the end once I've picked all my colours for the other greenage. I'm putting permanent green olive 167 down next. And I'm going to pick out these leaves, teeny tiny leaves, to do this one on. So same again where I'm going darker at the base of the leaf. <sighs> Blow the dust away and leaving it lighter on the tip and I'm going to go into these little bits at the bottom of these florals as well so again we're doing the same with these ones and then we'll move on to these I'm not going to lie, I thought this was going to be a lot quicker than it is. Seems to be taking me a lot longer than I imagined in my head. <laughs> when I envisioned doing it, I thought, oh, that won't take too long. How wrong I was. I'm going to do these bits as well. Just leave a little, a little lighter area right there. And then, yep, there's another one over here, isn't there? Let's not forget this one. And then on these ones, I'm going to do it darker at the top bit and then fading down. Sort of leaving it a bit lighter at the bottom of them ones. Like that. Let me have a look. That's all them little bits done, I think. So we've just got now these leaves and these leaves to pick a colour for. But I think first, I'm going to pop a bit of this green one we've just used. I'm going to pull a bit of it through this leaf. Still leaving it lighter on the tip, but just pulling a bit of that colour through there. Like and the same on these ones. So just pulling a bit of the colour up through. go now yeah I'm gonna use a bit of red I'm gonna use a bit of red so something like the pale geranium lake I think I'm gonna get 
So Pale Geranium Lake 121, I'm going to pop a bit of this on the headdress here. So just going to base it all first and then I'll get a darker red for some shadowing. But I think the red and green and purple will look really nice together. Red screens and purples. So let's find the darker shade now. Darker red. Middle cadmium red, maybe? Middle cadmium red, 217. So we're going to start up here. Oh yeah, that's a really nice deep colour. Let me turn you around so I can get a better angle under here. colour down and then go back in with I don't know if I've got my blender pencil I might have to just use maybe I'll use an ivory or something like that to blend the bottom bit yeah I'm gonna go for an ivory 103 just to blend this in at the bottom these leaves I'm going to use the olive green yellowish 173 again for these ones get some of this colour in there I'm just going to drag that up the stalk a bit and then just leave these lighter on the tips again we're going to come to blend all these leaves shortly but I just thought I'd get all the colours down first and see check it's where i want it to be before blending it because i don't want to burnish it and then decide oh actually i want to pop this color in there or this color in there get the stark in first and there we go and then I think I'm going to do all those florals red. So I'm not going to put red into the tips of those leaves like I said I would. I'm going to leave the florals red at the top of there. So I think I'll go, I'll use this olive green yellowish again. I'm just going to sharpen it guys. I need a thinner point. to happen I might have to get the arrays right there and try and get rid of that little line let me brush that dust away let's get rid of it I can hear someone talking outside I don't think they're coming to my house I'll do the other one, put this one over here, oh, there's a little butterfly on this page as well, I didn't notice that, a cute butterfly, that's got to be purple that I think. get some of that nice pale purple in well I said pale that nice pinky purple we used earlier so I'm going to go back in with the reds now for the florals so pale geranium lake 121 so just going to get that colour in on these ones first so we'll do those ones first Middle cadmium red 217. And on these 
these ones I'm gonna go in with the ivory again. I think it was ivory one zero three, that's what I did on the others, wasn't it? There we go. Then I'm gonna do sort of I think these ones are super super tiny. I think I'm gonna do a block colour on those ones. So I think with the middle cadmium red 217 i'm just literally gonna block color these ones they're too small to, to even attempt to do any sort of shading on those so it's either a block color for me or a gel pen of some description or a fine liner whichever you want but that to me is way too small to start faffing with Just there. I'm not even going to the centre there with that one. Oh, these colours are looking pretty. I'm going to do some purple flowers. So these ones here, I'm going to do purple. I'm going to start off with the lightest sort of pinky purple that I have, which is light red violet 135. Go in there with that one. It's the light layer. And then we'll go in with Violet. One, three, eight. And pop that colour in there. It's coming together slowly but surely. And I'm going to go back in with, where's the first colour I put down? Was it this one? Yeah, light red violet 135. Pull up a bit more of that colour. Still leaving it a bit lighter on the tips. There's only a little bit there, like, but. And then with the ivory. Just push those bits in to the paper. we go so i'm going to try and find my blender pencil now it should be up here somewhere because i did have it at some point i was using it it's just one of them things that's disappeared i might just have to use my white that's what i'm thinking about it oh the may green could go back in with the may green let's have a look oh i've missed two little leaves what colour did I use there? Was it permanent green olive? Permanent green olive. I've missed two little leaves there. Let's go back in with that. Do that, that's better. Yeah, I'm going to use the May Green. So we'll go back in with the May Green 170 to just go over these leaves here to blend the edges. So I'll put a nice little lighter shade of green on the tips of those ones. At least. And then we'll do the same on these ones. Let's 
so it's burnishing it nice and you've still got that little area of lightness where it's got this little shine to it we're going over with this may green going to clean up some of my edges with my eraser. I've just noticed I've gone over a big part here which I don't like. I'll have to redo that. There we go. And then I think these ones I'll do red as well, these florals here. So we'll start off first with Pale Geranium Lake, one, two, one. I want these ones quite dark, so I'm going to put a lot of the deeper red into these ones. So the middle Cadmium Red, two, one, seven. See, I'm going in very dark there at the top. I'm going to do the whole of that bit dark on that one, I think. Same on that side. So it looks like the light is coming from this direction and hitting those ones almost. Do the same on that one. So now we're going to go back in with the pale geranium light this time. really punchy really nice bold red on that one in fact I think I'll drag a little bit of this colour up through these ones yeah make that more bold make those ones bolder There we go. I'm going to go in now on this bit of the headdress. So I'm just going to use the middle cadmium red 217 for these little teeny tiny dots at the top. What are they supposed to be? Antennae, do we think? What do I think? And then in the centre of these florals as well. I'm going to do the centre of them red. So the actual florals, I'm going to do purple. So I'm going to go in with light red violet 135 on this flower just that one and this one for now and then we'll pick a darker purple so we'll go in with purple violet 136 and we'll just pop a bit of that color in i mean this is so small so so small Oh, so teeny tiny. And then I'm thinking for these two little flowers, I'm going to go in with a May Green first, 170. Oh, so tiny. Guys, so tiny. In fact, I might just do a block colour with that May Green. That's nice. Yeah, I'm going to do a block colour with that May Green. Why not? It's a nice lighter green to just pop in there like that. Easy. Easy peasy. And then I'm also going to use the May Green because I forgot to blend the edges of these little flowers. But I'm going to see if it'll sharpen this pencil, won't it? No, it won't go in that sharp. No, it's too small now. But we're just going to blend the edges of these leaves. Very carefully because I've got a bit of a chunky pencil situation going on now. If I go out the lines, I can erase it. It's fine.
go. Let's sort of blend everything we've not blended on the leaves with this mare green. Spin your end. Neaten up some of these lines. Let's see if we've got just a little bit there. Anybody see anything? <laughs> Anybody see any lines anywhere? Where do we see? Where do we see? Okay, let's just dust it off now. Right, we've only got the little butterfly to do now. I think we'll do him. I'm going to put a bit of brown on him, I think. Well, not brown, the Caput Martin violet. So let me show up on that. I'm going to put a bit of the Caput Martin violet 263 on the tips of the wings to start with. So right on the tips. I'm going to have it darker and then bring it lighter like that. And then in the centre, we're going to have red, I think. So we're going to have Pale Geranium Lake, one, two, one. Bring that red in the centre there. That works really well, actually. And then we may as well have May Green in the centre of the little butterfly, I think. So May Green. There we go, now we can pop in all our white gel pen details. So, might have to bring you out for this one. That glare is horrible, isn't it? <laughs> that glare on the camera. Right, let's twist you a little bit. So that's where we are with this one. I'm just going to go back in with the Pale Geranium Lake 121 and just brighten up this headdress as well. I feel like when I put that ivory in, it just really dulled down those colours. I want it to be really bright there so that's better i like that camera so we're going to put in all our gel pen detail in now we're going to make it all very very pretty on here so rather than going around each individual box as a line like that i'm going to do dotting details in the shape of the squares so we're going to go around like that Still I'm concentrating now. She's gone quiet. Oh. So up here is going to be a bit trickier. You're going to have to try and sort of work out where your lines are. That'll do on that one, I think. I think it looks pretty. I love a little bit of dotting detail in me. I'm going to turn it round because I need to get a good angle on this. You could actually do this with a dotting tool if you wanted to, you know, a really thin one. With some acrylic paint and a dotting tool. I 
this makes it more pretty than just going round as a normal line. Do you know what I think? That was my belly. Remember them? Is it must be dinner time? Must be. You know what? I might one day challenge myself to not use a white gel pen on a page. No, I won't. Who am I kidding? Of course I won't. No chance. Just makes everything look ten times nicer. <laughs> Maybe that's because my colouring is so rubbish, so I have to cover it up with a white gel pen, then it looks good. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah. I do do that sometimes, though, when I make a boo-boo. I do go over... We have glitter, gel pen, anything I can get my hands on. I do do that sometimes. Right, let's sort of work out where these little ones are there. And then we've got the bottom bit to do. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. Look how much prettier that looks. I love it. I love it. I'm, I want to do the same on here, but it's going to be hard. And it's just going to be the middle box on these ones. question is, would you do a background on this? I kind of don't want to. Just because I don't know what I would do. And then I don't want to ruin it. You know when I said I could hear people talking outside at the start of the video? It's not. I've just realised I've left the TV on downstairs. It's the television. <laughs> I thought it sounded louder than like or right outside the front door or something. Right, I'm going to do these little dotting details that Johanna's already put in in black. I'm going to go over them with the white. So the little dotting details that you see on the feet, I'm going to pop a few of those in. Don't have to go over them all. There's quite a lot, but just a few in there we go and then round the neck there's some here some on the head face nah, I couldn't live without a white gel pen I really couldn't there's no way I could colour a page without putting white gel pen in. It's just impossible. Absolutely impossible. Right, I'm going to pop some little details into the leaves now. Because why not? We can't leave it like that, can we? Don't. Yeah. Not put too many in because there's quite a lot going on down there, but I have to put something into them. Maybe some bigger ones. Maybe a bigger one to make it a bit different from what's going on down there. <laughs> I'm 
And then here, I think we'll just do some lines. Do a little line on this one so it's like a little um, glow from where I said the light would be shining on that side. Do little dots on the butterfly. I think that's where I want to be with that one. Like I said, I don't think I want to do a background with that. I really wouldn't know where to go with a background apart from maybe doing a little bit of a shadow underneath where he's stood. But yeah, I wouldn't really know what else to do with it regarding the background on this one. So I don't know if you want to... I might in my own time, I might, because I'm undecided, so I don't want to do it now in case I totally think, what have you done that for, Kirsty? I might just get like a sort of dark sepia or one of the greens that I've used in the feet to just pop a little bit of a shadowing underneath maybe a little bit of nothing nothingness really um on there but I think I'm gonna leave it at that I love the colors on that pinks greens and purples uh, pinks greens purples and reds pinks did I just say pinks well I suppose it's a bit of a pinky purple isn't it this one this red violet looks a bit pinky pinky purpley but anyway yeah so let's see me up and see the whole page a bit better so there we go quite like that little dude might have to think of a name for him because he just looks like he needs a name he or she what we're going for what should we call him or she i don't know everyone wants to call turtles terence don't they whenever anyone suggests a name for a turtle it's always terence but yeah, don't like that one <laughs> so please do hit the thumbs up on the way out subscribe if you're new comment down below and i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye